Welcome to Cambridge Paint Striping guys. Today I'm going to show you very quickly how to paint 3D looking rivets. By the way, there are a number of ways of uh, creating this effect. This is just one of the ways I'm using today. Uh, but it doesn't mean that's the only way and doesn't mean that's the best way either. It's just one of the ways I'm using today because it's easier for me. Having two brushes, one with black, one with white paint, uh, make life a lot easier because you don't need to clean them up between especially such contrasty colors as black and white. Right, so first step to do is using the black, create a little bit of a uh, black kind of circling shadow. More or less on top when you when you rivet when you want the rivet to be. Next step is white, and you want to do kind of similar um, size dot directly underneath that black shadow effect. Simple as that. Next thing what you want to do, you want to create a stencil of just a hole. You can punch a hole in any kind of uh, paper, even you know the sandpaper with holes like this. If you block the other two out, it will work just fine. But I've got my size over here uh, blocked off. So again, switching back to black. I'm going to line that up more or less in the middle when the black is mating with white and spray black directly underneath so I create like a half circle in black yeah and I'm gonna carry on for the other two holes I've got here so line up that stencil pretty much bang in the middle where that white meets black and spray black on the bottom of that circle one more this is done now I switch to white Again, get a white in my airbrush. I'm gonna line up my whole stencil exactly where I can see the half circle black. And this time the white I'm gonna load on top of that circle. And again. It's important to line up that stencil correctly. Otherwise your rivet's gonna look a bit off. And that is it. Simple, right? That is it, guys. Very simple, um, yet effective trick. Again, these rivets are very simple looking. I'm gonna come back to them and doctor them a little bit, make them look a little bit more worn, maybe airbrush some rust or some, you know, kind of uh, water drip, dripping out of here. I can probably airbrush a little hole in the middle so they pop rivets, you name it. But the principle is there. I hope that helps. Again, that's not the only way of doing rivets, uh, but this way worked for me on this particular occasion. So I thought I'd share with you guys. Enjoy.